My goal today is to get these two cameras to look like this one. Let's get started. While industry standard says that audio is more important than video, it doesn't mean that your camera shouldn't look good. Today, I'm going to try to get a Logitech Brio and a C922 to look as good as my DSLR camera, and I will take you through the process in which I do that so you can do the same with your cameras. Note to self that there are a lot of variables when it comes to cameras that are extremely important. Number one being lighting. Your lighting is going to be different than my lighting. So what may be good for my cameras might not be 100% best for your camera. So it is important to just follow the mindset and not necessarily follow the settings, but I'll take you through the mindset here and get your camera, help you get your camera looking as good as possible. Let's get started. All right, first let's get started with the Logitech Brio. And, and my goal is to get this picture right here in the middle of your screen to look as close to my DSLR camera as I possibly can. Uh, and I'm going to restore everything from camera, uh, restore camera defaults on both camera and video here so that we can clearly see that I am starting from a out of the box Logitech Brio here. So first thing, depending on my background here, depending on my lighting, those are two variables that you need to think about. Um, but my background here is a little bit messy, right? And maybe the closet, the green screen doesn't cover the entire closet here. So uh, maybe my field of view, I'm going to shrink in a little bit, right? And so, um, and then I'm going to zoom in just a little bit closer so that we can really try and capture that DSLR picture with my Logitech Brio here. So that is going to be my goal is to get that same exact picture. And you can get darn close with the Brio. I'm telling you right now. Uh, but note to self, note to you, the Logitech Brio uses a USB-C port. And so you got to make sure that that USB port that you're plugging into is a USB-C to get the full effect of 4K and 1080p 60 on this camera. So that being said, I'm going to prioritize exposure because I am not filming a sports event or anything of that nature. And I'm also going to when I, I, I set exposure to auto. The reason being is because exposure on auto actually you can see kind of is a little bit darker or brighter than that setting right there. And it's a little bit darker than this setting right here. So exposure on auto, it looks like this like jumps by 10%. If you're seeing this little uh, slider here and auto kind of gives me that like 65%. So I just let the camera do its thing on auto. I personally turn auto focus off because I don't want my camera to be constantly zooming in and out. And so I personally, Turn the focus, uh, just find the focus point. You can clearly see that obviously this isn't going to be your focus point, right? So find where the camera is focused and then uh, let's keep on keeping on. So video is here. I have brightness, contrast, sharpness, white balance. This Logitech Brio is actually a really good low light camera and it really does shine when the brightness is turned down a little bit too. You're seeing the, the picture like I am I'm not nearly as washed out anymore. And so I, I personally uh, prefer to turn the sharpness up on my image here a little bit as well to get that really clean, crisp uh, image. But one of the things that I do not like to have on is auto white balance. And so what I do is I just go get a piece of paper and make the piece of paper white. So I'm going to do that here. I'm going to hold this piece of paper up and I'm going to turn auto white balance off and I'm going to make the piece of paper white. Automatic settings, if you don't have to have them, I would turn them off personally. So now I know that this is white balance right where it needs to be. Um, it's not going to adjust on me if, if anything like jumps on the screen or an image on my computer like makes me brighter or, um, you know, changes whatever the lighting of the room. I know that auto balance isn't going to auto white balance isn't going to shift on me. Let's see. Turn the contrast on just a little bit. You can kind of see what contrast does it. I don't know. I don't even really know how to describe that. I really like the idea of like the contrast being a little bit lower because the image just seems a little bit cleaner. But at the same time, like. It's looking like a really nice picture right there. I just need to adjust the saturation and the saturation on this camera. If you adjust it, it is very, very sensitive compared to the 922, which you will see here in just a little bit. So I'm going to keep this right around 50. But you're kind of seeing like this isn't a bad picture for the Logitech Brio. This is a 100% acceptable picture for this camera. It's it's really really a nice webcam and and I personally loved having it while I while I had it before my DSLR. Uh, it was just an absolutely wonderful camera. 
Now we're going to do this 922 here really quickly. And again, remembering that my settings are not necessarily what yours should be. It's the process that you should be doing uh, because my lighting and my variables are a little bit different than yours, right? Uh, but I'm going to go to the same thing. I'm going to prioritize exposure because I'm not filming a sporting event where frame rate is important. And then I am going to set exposure to auto again. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go turn off the auto focus because I don't want my focus to be like changing based on um, any images that are going across my webcam. And I'm going to turn this to where it's obviously not blurry, right? So I'm going to put it usually all the way down for me is what I found if your webcam is on top of your monitor, that is uh, that setting just needs to be turned all the way down. So, um, all right, that one's set up. I want to make sure that we hit restore to default here as well. And I'm going to get a little bit better of a zoom here. Again, our goal was to try and make this camera look as close to the uh, DSLR as possible here. So, alrighty. Again, I like to turn the brightness down on these cameras. It really does uh, play with the light nice in my room. However, if you're not in a well lit room, which we're working with cameras here. If you're not in a well lit room, you need to figure something out. Lighting is very, very, very important with cameras. But if you're not in a well lit room, then you need to get your lighting right. A lot of times a nice backlight, maybe even a, some sort of light on the side to kind of separate you from your background. Uh, but let's see here. What do we got? Turn the sharpness up a little bit. I like my images a little bit sharper. Um, I feel like they are just a little bit more clear to look at. I didn't even white balance here. Feels bad. Holding this white piece of paper up, I'm hoping that the camera's focusing on the focusing on the white piece of paper. About right there. Ah, but this video works, right? Here we go. Saturation, I'm going to. You'll notice that the saturation slider on this is not nearly on the 922 is not nearly as sensitive as the Brio, which is nice because you can get a really nice. Uh, warm color on your skin and, and it definitely works uh let's see here sharpness contrast but i mean for the most part this is not too bad for the c922 and for all intents and purposes the c922 and the c920 are very 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 similar so if you're working with the c920 this process is exactly the same but for the sake of uh, working with both of those cameras, we have both of them done in about seven minutes. So that's not, not too bad. Not too bad. My channel is all about getting the most out of your software, hardware, and then gaming as a main form of entertainment. If this video helped you in any sort of way today, consider subscribing. I do plan on helping the content creator space with as many videos as I possibly can that I feel that are relevant for every single creator to know in order to be successful out there. Thank you again, and we'll see you soon.